Champion, we are here. I got to respect it. I got to show praise to it. During the whole strike situation, we talked about battle rappers doing this. A battle rapper should do this. They should negotiate with this. Find out their own numbers. Find out their own worth. Well, here we have a battle rapper, one of the gods, initially, um, of the sport, standing on its own, too. David versus Goliath, disaster versus Chase Max. Before we get into it, this is his event. So one battle event is literally just disaster, in a sense. So we'll, he'll know his worth officially and all that stuff. Avocado shooting it, I believe. It'll be on Rap Grid for just ten dollars. So he can find out his supporters, how much supporters he have, how many real supporters he have. This could be beneficial in his favor. But I salute this times ten, and I appreciate it. I'm about to cop it. Probably by the time this drop, I already copped it. You know, but um, I'm not copping it. I suggest y'all do the same. It should be dope, and it should be hilarious to me. You know, because disaster. You know, when he battles a certain type of person, mm -hmm. and a certain type of attribute they have. He goes off. So this is something that disaster wants to do. So he can't mess up. This is his event. This is his battle. He set this up. So if a battle rapper sets this up, this means they're coming with three rounds. He's doing it on his own time. On his own, on his own time, on his own dime. Mm -hmm. So there's no way I will not be entertained. I you can't and then you can't be like, yo, I'm not, I'm not I wasn't motivated for it. For your I, own stuff. This, yeah, this is your thing. So I'm looking forward to it, man. What's your initial thoughts? Talk to I think it's dope. Salute yeah. to Disaster for doing this. Support him 100%. Right. Um, for him to take the initiative to say, hey, I'm going to do my own thing, which yeah. is great. Um, Chase Banks is pretty dope. Funny yeah. guy, you know. You mean uh, mini Charlie Clips? Yeah, <laughs> yeah mini. It's mini Charlie Clips, man. You ain't slick, man. I see what's going on here today. Disaster, of course, is on my Mount Rushmore. Uh -huh. So you already know you should already know who I have winning this matchup I got Chase Banks winning I don't know how I got disaster I got Chase Two, Banks one, winning possibly 3-0 you tripping come on no this way. is Charlie Clips no it's not this is not Chase Banks it's not the real Charlie Clips this is Charlie Clips no it's not he can be able to freestyle rebuttal he's one of the most respected guys in Harlem he beat some of the top guys he's been in the ring with Loaded Lux it's, he's not battling no, it's Chase Banks come on <laughs> I've seen Chase Banks Chase Banks that's another real bank like bank, Chase yeah, Banks. There's so many for you to flip that. Disaster's gonna, disaster's gonna flip. flip that. He's gonna flip Chase. He's gonna, gonna, he's gonna flip Chase. He's gonna flip Banks. He's gonna flip the fact that he's small. And he titled it David vs. Goliath. Uh, David vs. Goliath. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? 3-0. Uh, 3-0 disaster. I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even playing. 3 0. Not disaster winning two, um, obviously because he set it up in the way in the way he wanted to, but uh how can how can Chase Banks win this? <laughs> he can't. How? It's like watching Golden State play the AFC. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, how can the AFC possibly beat Golden State? Yeah. It's the same scenario. Like, how? Like, Chase Banks cannot win this battle. And disaster, well, we, we talk about stature a lot. Disaster is literally probably 6'2". Yeah. And he's 4'11", 5'2", 5'3". Probably 5'0". But he must have took this match knowing something. Yeah, knowing he was going to whoop his ass knowing that. Chase Banks. And I watched some of Chase Banks. I think he's pretty cool. Yeah, he, is, he is, though. I know, I know, I know, I know about him. I'm, I'm pretty much a show struggling. I know a but, lot about him. But I just, just you see this, this levels. You don't just get on my Mount Rushmore. Yeah. If a disaster to be on my Mount Rushmore, that means not too many people can beat him in battle rap. Yeah. And... Chase Banks is not one of those people that's qualified to be oh disaster. And this is his event. And the work in his hometown too? The fix is in. The fix is in. The fix is in. People love being an underdog, but in this scenario it's not it's not a good look for you to be an underdog for this one. <laughs> I I I'll, I'll be shocked if he does anything and that's just I would all due respect, but uh this is the motivated disaster on his dime, on his event, on his time. Good luck, Chase Banks. I'll be watching you closely. Anything else? Three old disaster. Disaster. Champion. Champion. We are here. We're closing in. Only two to three months away for the champion of the year 2018 process to begin and end. Who will be crowned? Huh? 
A whole bunch of events happening. It ain't over until it's over. Trust me. It's not over until it's over. Let's talk about it, though. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the important details before we continue on with the video. Last year, one of the main concerns was fan participation. Or at least, in, in my regard, supporter support participation. Y'all had absolutely no say on who won last year between Red and Rock or the JC Romniti, whoever is in the top five. Y'all had absolutely no say. And what I've noticed, all of 2018, when y'all was given a chance to have a say, nine times out of ten, in my opinion, y'all was right. Nine times out of ten, in my opinion, y'all showed no bias. I like that. So for 2018, I want to change how the process is happening. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I say this, 20%, 20% of the final decision and champion of the year will go to the fans, to the supporters in this donation process. So once you donate, obviously like I did before, you'll get a survey link. There'll be two surveys. Remember the code check? The code check was for battle rappers to be considered to be debated on. The panel won't do that this year. You will. You will pick every single battle rapper that will be considered for, for, for nominate or nominate every battle to be considered champion of the year in 2018. So as soon as you donate, you'll get that link. Or closer to the date, excuse me, you'll get that link. And then you'll get a second link. I think in January, to fill out the top five, in a sense, depending on how the panel goes, you guys might have the last say. There's only six to eight seats for champion of the year. I will no longer be doing 15 people plus. I'm not doing that. I want to control this argument. Not control, but I want to make sure everything is clear. The yell going to each other, it's not going to happen this year. Shout out to everybody who attended last time, but it's going to be an entirely new setup. Probably entirely new faces. Much love to everybody who's there, but entirely new faces and entirely new process. Okay? The last important detail that you got to know. Six to eight seats. Six people have been chosen already. So there's two open seats. Those two open seats for champion of the year, 2018, will go to the highest donations. Oh, did they hurt me? Let me repeat that again. Two of the panel seats for champion of the year will go to the highest donations. That means anyone can be a part of the panel. Two of the highest donations will have seats. Two different people will have seats in the Champion of the Year panel. Of course, you got to make your way down there, obviously. But if you do, get in contact with me. I'll get in contact with you and figure it out. But you got to know what you're talking about, too. That's a key element right there. And that's going to throw up a whole bunch of money and just only know one battle rapper. If, if you're that person, I would suggest don't donate. But if you're passionate about the sport, you know what you're talking about, you can debate, go ahead and hit that donation. So two, again, this is very important. And of course, all the money goes to the battle rapper. The entire process will run my pockets, 14 to 15K. But obviously, I don't want to take on that financial burden. Like I said last year, I'm going to put that clip in here somehow, somewhere. They go head to head for nothing, for their, for their paychecks, for their whatever the league gives them. But there's no call to action to say, I got to win this. What did I win for the year? You put, watch the NFL. They have their Super Bowl. You know what I mean? You watch the NBA. LeBron is going crazy for the ring. If there was no ring at the end of it, what would we care? You know what I mean? NHL, anything. Soccer, anything. Well, now in Battle Rap, we have the champion of the year. And once you see the cash prize, things will get very serious for next year. And I, I, I asked all of you that's watching this to, uh, to share this video. Um, this is the only time I promote my videos. Or share, share this video and get it around so everybody can see this. This is all coming from my pockets. You know what I mean? So for next year, I don't want to spend any money, people. Donate. For next year, I don't want to spend any money, people. Donate. Donate. I'm not putting It's a lot of money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Donate for next year. But yeah, 
So let's do it. And of course, to be a part of the survey, the coat check, you have to donate. The way I see it, the people that donate should have the most say in the entire process, so y'all will. So again, the coat check will be conducted, not by the panel members. We won't even be sitting there like, who do you, do you think, do you think JC should be consideration for champion of the year? We won't do that. You will. So by the time we sit down, we will already have been done a coat check. We'll be starting straight into the debates, announcing it straight into the debates, and that's it. The, the coat check will be conducted by the people and 20% of the final decision, 20% of the final decision goes to the supporters. On top of that, two of the seats will go to the highest donation. So this is probably the biggest fan participation or in my case, supporter participation ever in the final decision of who gets the next belt. 